Hello, welcome back to the Garcia Center. I am Eugene Solis, and today we have a fun little simple project um, about textures and discovering quantum textures you have inside your house as well as outside. So you can try your walls, um, certain toys, cardboard, any, anything, you, if you rub your fingers through anything, for example, if I rub my fingers through this cardboard, I feel little ribs and ridges, that's texture. So if you touch the wall, I feel little bumps or anything, or a tree um, bark, or even concrete has little small textures. You can use that for your texture um, samples. And for example, these are mine. Uh, that I had around my house and outside. You see, and they form different shapes, different patterns. So all you need for this, this is a, your white paper. It's kind of a thinner paper, not as thick as the watercolor paper, it's thin. And crayons, or if not crayons, you can also use colored pencils. But for this purposes, I'm gonna, for, for this project, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use crayons. And you can use any color, but I'm gonna use darker colors so you can see it more clearly because yellow, maybe a light green might be hard to see, but like reds, blues, purples might be easier. For example, here's one texture on my cardboard. You can see when I rub it, you see an image of the cardboard and other items you can try. It might be maybe light, but I'm going to try this bubble wrap. It may may not work because the bubble wrap is kind of soft, so we can try that out. And again, use whatever you have at your house. This bubble wrap, you can barely see any of the texture, but it might work better with paint. Maybe we'll do textures with paint in the future, but on also, some of you, maybe your shoe's a little clean, but shoes usually have some form of texture in the bottom of it. <laughs> so you make it, you can do this too if you want. It's an option. And my shoe has the little bumps on it in the bottom like circular little bumps. You can do another section right here so you can see it better. So you see my little texture samples. The goal is to do maybe these 10 texture samples on your paper. And again, it's a good reason to go outside and explore what's outside. Again, you can use concrete, you can use um, a bark of a tree. Um, anything, anything you rub your fingers against, you feel little bumps or you feel something like a, a textured surface, go ahead and rub, make rubbings. And sooner or later, we're gonna do another project of texture, but this is a little practice piece. And that includes our lesson for today, and I'll see you next time.